What is up guys, it's OP Gaming here and I would like to talk to you guys about how to climb the glorious thing that is in the Iron Tower. It is that crazy cliff jump. This is how you start it. You start it over here and the way that you know you're going the right path at first is there are wolves. You want to make sure you're going towards these wolves and basically you want to make sure that I know I don't show it in, the, uh, in this video, but my agility is up all the way, and this this jumping puzzle is exactly that. It's, it, it is a jumping puzzle. You literally have to strategically place some of your feet and try not to hold down the A button too long, or sometimes you do have to hold down the A button for long enough so that you can get high enough, whatever. Uh, this is me just, you know, whatever, going off into the distance and being like, oh, crap, I gotta go this way. And I barely make that jump. So uh, some of the biggest tips I can give you guys, I did this first try with maybe four deaths, I think. We'll, we'll know at the end of this video. Um, and it was, it was really easy. Well, not really easy. You know those moments when you're clutching your controller and you are sweating bullets from your controller? Yeah, that, that was me. Uh, especially nearing the end because the end starts getting a little bit harder. I just wanted to unlock this book right away and just look at some of this stuff. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, I already unlocked the shoulder pads or the gauntlets or the arms or whatever they're called. They're awesome and I actually just now unlocked the chest plate for those beautiful craziness things. And I was just checking out all the different types of whatnot and hopefully I'll go back to you know, not doing this you know, because we got a jumping puzzle to do. Anyways, you guys want to follow my lead. Hunters, Titans, uh, Warlocks can do this all the same. We basically jump the same. Just make sure your agility is on the highest it can be. Uh, make sure you have extreme patience because this... I, I, led, I led one guy up here and it literally took about 40 minutes for him to get up there because he kept on falling off at this part, at this next part, especially this part right here. Um, and, you know, it was, it was just a little difficult for him. Uh, for me, uh, no one showed me how to do this uh, and I ended up showing a couple people actually how to do it and I was just like, oh, why not? I'll just make a video on it just so that people can see it and just follow my lead. I want to give out a couple of pointers right here. You want to make sure because this rock right above you will push you away like that and you will end up falling all the way down and it sucks because, you know, all that type of stuff. So when you get up there, you want to make sure you push your body all the way to the left at the peak and make sure you're away from the rocks and just jump straight up and barely move forward. It'll help you out a lot, especially in those tight little situations where you're going to fall off and you know it, but you know, you try to have the confidence in jumping. Anyways, guys, this is me doing the jumping puzzle. I guess just follow my lead. I can commentate through it, but I really don't necessarily want to. Right here, I'll show you. Right, look, I got get to the very edge. See, I'm still getting pushed, and this guy's like, oh, how do, how do you do that? And I'm like, you gotta get to the very edge, right there. See, th that rock will most definitely push you off, and it sucks so much. So, I go to the very edge, and I jump straight up. This little part's a little tricky, and a run and jump. And then you got some narrow areas. Like I said, this is a very long jumping puzzle. And it, I think it literally takes me about eight minutes to do it. Uh, that's including dying a couple times. Uh, and as you can see, if you step wrong, you're going to fall. And if you're going to slip, you want to make sure you slip right onto a rock underneath you. Uh, these, sit these situations right there, you got to make sure you're watching the walls as often as possible. I feel like a, a, a river ref guy. Today I'm going to show you how to survive in a crazy rapid waters. You're going to push it, you're going to pull it, and you're going to make sure you're watching the walls. Uh, but see, if you're not watching the walls, you're going to die. And it freaking sucks. But luckily, my guy <laughs> eventually dies and he got up there. Uh, anyways, guys, just follow my lead. As always, like and subscribe. Subscribes and those thumbs ups and comments help me out a lot. I know I haven't made a video in quite a while, but I've been waiting for Destiny Rise of Iron to come out. Stayed up all night and that stupid server issue was the most annoying thing ever. 
<laughs> anyways guys like and subscribe and I hope you guys get this awesome little uh, thing up here it's a beautiful view and it's just fun and if you continue watching all the way to the end of the video I show you how to jump off without killing yourself just damaging yourself as always guys like and subscribe and there's a Shiva or not a Shiva a Siva <laughs> I'm an idiot like and subscribe and I shall see you later sucker fish Thank you.